Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration, we from 2015, problem 20. We have the integral of x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. Okay, to get started with this, I'm just noticing in the denominator we've got x squared here. We've got an x term here. Now, I don't think it's going to work perfect, but what we can try on this is a u substitution. What I want to do is let's just make the whole denominator the u. So... We'll set this up, we'll have our u equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. Then I'll just go ahead and take a derivative on this. So for the du value, this is going to become derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative here is going to be a plus 2. Derivative of this is 0, so we'll have a dx on the end. But now because we have a 2 in common on this, what I can do is just factor this, and I can write this as 2 times x plus 1 dx. And then by doing it that way, we've got x plus 1 dx here, we've got x plus 1 dx here. We just don't have this 2 right here. Well, I can just go ahead and create that. I can just multiply by 2 in the numerator, but I don't want to change it, so I'll multiply by 1 half in front. So let's just go ahead with our substitution. We'll have our 1 half in front. Then everything here is going to be du in the numerator, and it's just going to be over u. We can integrate this. We're going to have 1 half natural log absolute value of u, and then we can just back substitute it. We'll just plug this in, and we're going to have this is going to become 1 half natural log absolute value x squared plus 2x plus 3 add a plus c and add a plus c on here but what i'm wondering is but the one question i have in this is do we really need the absolute value is this ever going to be negative well there's a few ways to do it we could look at a graph but i think what i want to do is let's just factor it i can just complete the square on this so because we have a 2 here i can write this as x plus 1 squared you multiply that out, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I need to add a 2 on it so that I'm not changing it. So this is the same expression as this. But then doing it that way, because this term is squared, this here has to always be positive. Of course, plus 2 is always positive. So what we find is this expression is always greater than 0. So what I'll do is I'll just drop my absolute value here, get rid of that, get rid of that. We'll write this as parentheses, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Quick and easy one from MIT 2015. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.